Pipeline is a sub supply chain link for the emergency response that we have. When you're talking about pipeline, we're talking about the procurement, sourcing of the items, storage of the items, moving of the items until they get to the hands of the beneficiaries. IOM as an organization manage from an administrative point of view these supplies, and then the cluster is the one who endorses uh, the usage of the, of the pipeline. The main advantage is that when you centralize the procurement in one agency, it's, it's much more efficient. This is a plastic sheet from, donated from DFID. Here we have nylon rope. We use this as part of the shelter reinforcement. It's a, it's a cloth and commonly used by, by women here in South Sudan. In South Sudan itself, people, they are displaced because of the conflict. I don't think you have time to think that, oh, you have to carry buckets or whatever. Uh -huh. I, I just got an email that we will have three rotations uh, uh, in, into Jigmir or Mandeng. They are trying to see if Jigmir, if the MI26 can land in Jigmir. Do you have any update on the situation? Because you told me that there was some shelling today. No, it was yesterday. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. By midday yesterday, uh, it became quiet and uh, it's been quiet since. The job is risky. Most of the locations where the teams work are extremely volatile. In many of the locations, we get very small window of opportunities of maybe three, five days. What I see is just this very small village. No facilities in terms of sanitation, limited water. There is not even... Um, a proper road, nothing. People are suffering here. There is a lot of challenges because uh, things are being looted. Right now, there's no, there's no yeah. clinic here in Mandeng. Uh, this is the only uh, health center that uh, in Mandeng, even the building you can see that it's been burnt and then uh, the medicine is looted and thrown away. Yeah. This building is uh, it's the school, right? Yeah, the yeah. classroom? Yeah, yeah. Like even from uh, all age coming here, like yeah, even yeah, like yeah, 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 all levels. Yeah, of, yeah, all levels. Yeah. yeah. So this is the only school. Another school. Biggest, yeah. Yeah. Currently, there's no other school because this is very sad. Because at the end of the day, uh, this affects to the innocence of this world, which are the the children. No? And and what we can see here is that most of the stuff has been destroyed uh, for the sake of it. Instead, not even looted. So it's just destruction. What has happened is that one of the warring parties came here. They took over this small village. All the IDPs went to another location. They came and looted all the property, then they go back. And they go back. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that has happened often? Or? It is the and first no, time. It is for the first time. It is the first time to visit here. Yeah. Yes. And the, the people are in Chikmir, no? No, no all the people, people are in Chikmir. Chikmir. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Once uh, the supplies are distributed, people might feel safe to go back yeah. or they will remain in Chikmir. Yeah, no, no. If you can even extend your help to those uh, okay. communities, mm -hmm. it would be very wonderful. We see that there are two hand pumps functional in this area. If people coming back here, I don't think that two hand pumps would be enough. What is the total population? Uh, it was estimated to be more than 25,000. 25,000? 25, yeah. This side is the area that all the residents here are bleed from that side. I see. Yeah. <coughs> all the IDP there from that side of the river. You follow this river until you reach uh, Jengbir. Mm -hmm. mm. It's uh, only one hour and one hour and, and some minutes. 
by a speedboat. Okay. People just walk and walk in the heat for like three hours to come to Mandeng. They're not only walking, they have to cross the river. We would definitely want to start the distribution, no more delays. We can see that people really in need of these items. We are waiting for two things now. The beneficiaries are on the way coming, and we are also waiting for another rotation. We will be landing here at 11 a.m. Blankets, plastic sheets, and kitchen sets, as usual. Yeah. More than 5,000 beneficiaries will be coming today to receive the item here. I am asking them where, where are the rest, and they say some of them are on the way coming. 25 kilometers from here, maybe 30 kilometers. I would like to work in South Sudan because this is my community, the suffering community, the most suffering community in the world. When I was young, I always wanted to be a Catholic priest. I changed my mind. I, I, I said that I'm going to be a humanitarian worker. SUDA is an acronym for South Sudan Development Agency. It's working in vulnerable communities like this community with partnership with other organizations such as World Vision RM and the other big UNICEF and the others. It's like layers of working together with the partners on the ground, discussion with the log cluster, pipeline unit, short NFI. We can see that the chopper is approaching. It's like the great collaboration between clusters, short NFI cluster, log cluster. Uh, pipeline is a great tool because it allows complementing local NGOs which have like a great established relationship with the local authorities together with the, the pipeline which is managed by the cluster lead agency which usually have a, a significant capacity to do more effective and efficient uh, procurement of the supplies. <laughs> Our partnership, when you look at it, is very, is very strong. It's very, when you look at the three organizations who are working together, they work hand in hand to make sure that they do, they do everything jointly. Send out of the moon. I make a deal. Then the video no big. 
Ada ni me, ni siapa ni me? Ni bangga ni me, bawa la bui duel misi ni me, duel bawa siung, bawa siung la bui de. Ni me betul ke na? Ni me benar mas ke je? It's quite difficult huh, to see how people live. It's like the strength that you see in people, how they cope. It's also make you humble.